What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, um, I have absolutely no idea what we're going to be doing tonight because this is a request for another random number generated request. Yes, indeed. Oh, man, I have no idea how this is going to go, but... We're gonna have a good time with it, so here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bot, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Supervised Chaos, and this is actually Supervised Chaos's prioritized request for the month of August for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So here we go, Chaos. I hope you enjoy the show. I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be right now. Uh, so we're going to switch screens. And we're going to go to our random number generator, and we're going to pick a random request out of the queue. So I'll see you there. All right, folks, here we go on our random number generator page. Uh, now, for those of you that did not watch the last one I did, this is how the rules work. Um, I have the lowest number set at 200. The reason for that is if your request for now is sitting in the queue between number one and number 200, you're gonna have that request be reacted to within the next six months. So I think you can wait. I think it's okay. I trust me, you'll, you will be gotten to fairly soon. I want to give the numbers a chance that are up, like waiting for like, you know, a year, a year and a half, two years away. That's, those are the numbers I want to give a chance to. So we have the lowest number set to 200. The highest number right now in the queue is number 1,517. Yeah, the queue is getting big again. I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, so here we go. We're going to be picking a random number between 200 and 1517. Now here's how it works. Just to make sure that there's no possible way I could be rigging this or fixing it or cheating in any way, shape, or form, we're gonna burn three numbers. I'm gonna hit pick three times. First three numbers that go by, those are the burn numbers and they cannot be selected. The fourth number, whatever the fourth number is, that is our pick. So here we go, let's burn our three. Here's burn number one. 1471. Wow, that is way up. That is way up there. All right, let's keep going. Number two. 328. Okay. And the third burn. 280. Ooh. All right. Drum roll. This is our winner. Here we go. 996. Ooh, that's up there. That's up there. Okay, so whatever request is sitting at number 996, that is the request that we're going to do tonight. Tonight! So uh, I'll get into the queue. I'll find number 996, and I'll be right back with that. So um, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're back. Here we go. So number 996 in the queue was, you ready for this? Avenged Sevenfold with a live performance of the song Critical Acclaim. Uh, this was originally a request from Zach D sitting at number 996, so it got brought straight up to number one thanks to Supervised Chaos using that random number generator. So here we go. We're going to be reacting to this. Uh, now, <laughs> have I heard the song before? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, this was off oh, which album? This was off their self titled album. Uh, event sevenfold. So yes, I, I have heard this. I've heard that entire album. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely heard the song before. However, this is a live performance. So I will not be reacting to the song itself in any way, shape or form. I already know the song. I've heard the song multiple times before. 
I will only be reacting to, evaluating, and scoring the live performance. So please keep that in mind. This was posted by Brian Patrick Samane. Sure, why not? And the video has 935,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Event Sevenfold, critical acclaim, live in LBC HD. LBC. Long Beach? That's just a hop, skip, and a jump from where I live. Not bad. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's do this. All right, boy. Let's do this. Good energy. I, okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is the show opener. This is how they started the show. Makes sense. If you listen to that album, like if you listen to that album from start to finish, this is like the only song that makes sense on how to open the show. Like if they were going to do that album from start to finish as a live show, this is the only track that you could honestly use as the opener. Um, it makes absolute perfect sense. Um, and it definitely works as a show opener. It absolutely does. Um, the use of the pyro, I, I don't know. They must be playing, they're either playing, I don't think they're playing outdoors. It looks like they're playing indoors. They must be playing in some place big with high ceilings. Um, and they obviously had to get a permit to use the pyro. That's a lot harder to do indoors nowadays. Ever since, uh, what was the name of that venue? The, the, the Stagecoach or the Stagebrush or whatever that, the, the, uh, the Great White Fire incident, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Ever since that happened, it's, been, it's gotten a lot harder to get permits to use pyro, so. But it works, and I'm glad they got it, because they, they're using it well. Great stage interaction, great crowd interaction. Um, so far, so good. As a live performance goes, as a show opener, we're off to a good start. Let's see how this, let's see how this goes here. Yeah. 
so underrated. Guitar solo coming up. Um, I don't know about doing the vocals or what was happening with the guitars. I, I don't know about that. I, it, to be honest with you, I, I, I kind of wish he hadn't been doing the vocalizations while the guitar was doing his thing. Uh, kind of a bummer, if I'm being honest. Uh, Jim's vocals, man, when he was alive, one of the most underrated drummer vocalists, I think, ever. I mean, his his vocal ability was amazingly good as a drummer. Amazingly good. He could, with his vocal talent and vocal ability, he could have been a frontman if he had wanted to be. Um, great range, great clarity, great diction, great projection, great power. His tone was really nice. Um, and he's stuck behind a drum kit. But that here's the thing, though. That's where he wanted to be. He wanted to be a drummer. So, I mean, I, I don't blame him. I mean, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, do that. Go for it, obviously. I just, I feel like sometimes his vocal ability is overlooked. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a great drummer. He was a, he was a great drummer. Um, but I feel like a lot of times people focus so much on his drumming and rightfully so, but they overlook his singing ability, which was kind of tragic if you ask me. I mean, his his vocal ability is clean, super clean. Um, still seeing good stage energy, stage interaction. I've been seeing members of the band interacting with each other. This is good. Uh, I've been seeing some great crowd interaction, showmanship, production. Um, every check mark, every every box has been checked you know it, it's already been checked off and they're continuing to do it which is amazing fantastic job let's keep going here let me back up a little bit because i know there's guitar solos coming Coming up at the end, the squibs really nice. And here we are, 
again, Southern California, my favorite place to fucking be in the goddamn world. <laughs> sure it is. Low Beach, ready to rock and roll tonight! So, being from Orange County, from Southern California, I know we got a lot of hardcore, dedicated fans here tonight. That's right, they're from Orange County. We got County. a lot of kids that know all the shit, the new shit, the old shit. Let's play something old for them right now. Yeah, do something old, please. I want to see if we can get this fucking circle pit started. Can you do that for me, Long Beach? Is that the no for the next one? Wait, I, they don't do second heartbeat, do they? Because that's the note. Oh my God. Did they do second heartbeat right after this song? Oh! What a great segue! Oh man, I kind of wish I'd, I kind of wish we had seen that song instead. I love Second Heartbeat. I think that's, I think Second Heartbeat is actually my my favorite song from Avenged Sevenfold. I love that song. Um, God, that would have been something to see live. Anyway, um, okay, let me think about this, and I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Avenged Sevenfold with a live performance of Critical Acclaim. Okay, so this was originally requested by Zach D, but it was sitting at 996 in the queue, number 996. It was way up there. It was gonna be at least another year and a half before we got to this, if not longer. And the whole reason we got to this is because of supervised Chaos, because Supervised Chaos used his prioritized request for the month of August for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page to give a random number generated request and give something in the queue a chance to move up. So, yeah, Zach D, you did request this and you deserve the credit for requesting this, but y'all better be thanking Supervised Chaos because he is the reason that this got bumped up. And you guys, seriously, Took about a year and a half off of the wait. So make sure you all thank Supervised Chaos for that. Okay, now, <laughs> before I give my score, I need to be very clear that I am very familiar with this song. I actually own the album that this song appeared on, the, the, uh, the self-titled album, Avenged Sevenfold. I own that album, I know this is track one, and I actually remember listening to this entire album, and I remember thinking to myself, out of all the songs on that album, that is the song that would be a show opener, is Critical Acclaim, and I'm actually really glad to see that they used this as a show opener, and you could tell it was a show opener, especially the way that uh, Shadows addressed the crowd at the beginning, you know, how you doing Long Beach? I was like, wow, okay, this is definitely a show opener. Playing in Long Beach. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from where I live. Um, man, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But to be very clear, I know the song. I've heard the song dozens of times, okay? So I am very familiar with the song. So I am basing my score and my evaluation completely on the live performance. Stage presence, stage energy, stage interaction, crowd interaction, showmanship, production, these are the six things I'm looking for. I will take how well they play the song into account. Yes, I will, a little bit, but for the most part, it's about the visual. So please keep that in mind. Having said all that, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that live performance. I'm gonna give that a 9.2. Yep, 9.2. You heard me. I didn't stutter. That is the score I feel this live performance deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? As show openers go, this is one of the better 
live show openers I think I've ever seen. Um, I Like I said, I remember when I listened to this album uh, from start to finish, out of all the tracks on the album, this is the only one that stood out to me as a potential for a show opener. And boy, I am so glad to see that I was right about that. Um, with that organ intro, man, how, how better? How better? Seriously, how better? I'm, I'm going through, I'm going through every single event sevenfold song I've ever heard. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, could anything possibly outdo that from a sound standpoint? And I, I can't think of a single song off the top of my head. I, I can't think of one that would work as well as this song does for the purpose, the sole purpose of being a show opener. Um, I'm sure there are because I know for a fact there are a lot of Event Sevenfold songs that I have not heard yet. So it's possible there is one or two out there that might even be better than this one as a show opener. But as it stands with my current knowledge, I can't think of a single one. Um, great energy right out the gate. Great energy out the gate. The guys in the band coming out to the front of the stage on those accents, really nicely done. Uh, the pyrotechnics. I don't know how they got the licensing, to, or got the got the permits to pull that off, but glad they did. It worked really well. Um, good. Okay, let, let's just go down the list. All right, let, let's go down the list. Stage presence. Oh man, come on. <laughs> The minute they all walked out to the front of the stage, they were just swagger, man. It was just pure swagger. Loved seeing that. Uh, stage energy. They were all moving around the stage. Everybody was. Everybody was moving around the stage. Loved seeing that. Uh, stage interaction. Oh, yeah. We saw quite a bit. Quite a bit of stage interaction between the guitarist, the bass player, the vocalist. Quite a bit. Um, crowd interaction. Definitely. Pretty much from the get-go, uh, Shiles was interacting with the crowd. We really enjoyed seeing that. Um showmanship yes yes a lot of ego block usage which i love seeing um uh, you know going up going down moving around interacting with each other all, all those are on the same thing but it, it, always doing something to catch your eye they would never take those times where the entire band just stood there you know and something was constantly happening always um even jim back there doing like the the, the stick pulls and stuff like that that's showmanship absolutely uh, and then production, like I already, I already talked about that. Their their production was top notch. I don't know how they got those permits, especially in California, being the high risk fire state that we are. But uh, good on them. I'm glad, and I'm glad they were able to get the permits because it really did add to the show. Um, they played the song really well. They did from a from a live standpoint. I didn't hear anything sour. I, I heard it, it, everything I heard sounded very accurate to the studio recording but not sounding exactly like the studio recording. It was live. It was, this was not studio track laid over. Now, everything that we heard was live. It was very obvious. Uh, it all had that very nice live sound, that crisp live sound. Um, and the mix was actually really good. I was impressed with the mix. And I always kind of judge the mix, especially for live sound. I always judge the mix by whether or not I can hear the bass. And I can hear the bass clear as day. For those of you who are uh, running FOH or running boards, use this video as an example of what you are looking for in your mix for live sound because we heard everything clear as day across the board. Backing vocals were clear, guitars were clear, lead vocal was clear, drums were clear, everything was clear, even the bass was clear in the mix. You did not have to go looking for him. So I was really thrilled about that. Um, no, listen, as live shows go, as live openers go, this was a blueprint textbook example of what you look for. A song that is recognizable, popular, maybe not the most popular song. You want to leave those for later in the show, but a song that is definitely recognizable, has great energy, and has a good impactful effect on the crowd and on your show in general. Uh, this was a great selection as a show opener. I am curious about one thing. I heard that note, boom, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going through every song I know from Event Sevenfold. There's only and the, and, and the giveaway was let's. He said that we're gonna do something from the from the library. We're gonna go back a bit with this one. We're gonna do something old, and that note 
stands out to me as possibly being Second Heartbeat. Was Second Heartbeat the next song that they played live? If it is, I need to watch it because that is my favorite song from Avenged Sevenfold, hands down. So I'm curious. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. I, I have a feeling I am, but let me know in the comments if I'm correct about that assumption or not. But yeah, fantastic live performance across the board. Way to start the show. Way to get the crowd going. Way to get your, your, your show rolling and getting off on the right foot. So yeah, 9.2, I feel good with that score, and that is where we're gonna stay. Remember, it's not for the song, it's purely based on the live performance, okay? So, 9.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then do my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.